my name is Anne Barnes and this is very much part of a trust campaign to support the national campaign about all healthcare workers announcing who they are, whether that's in a written form or whether that's when you meet people or answer the phone or speak to people on the phone. It's really important that the patients and people that we're working with understand exactly who they are communicating with. And so your name is as important as perhaps um, the position you hold in the organisation, whether that's a staff nurse, a consultant, or somebody perhaps from the catering department. So I do ask that everybody, wherever possible, uses the hello, my name is. I am here today in the Stockport Eye Centre, which was brought into being about 13 years ago and at the time was absolutely state-of-the-art new theatre complex with a twin theatre system that allowed clinicians to be able to move between the two as efficiently and effectively as they possibly could. The unit sees 32,000 patients each year and deals with the complete range of eye problems such as problems with the cornea, uh, glaucoma, squints and other matters. We're very proud of the eye centre. It serves often a very vulnerable group of patients who are more elderly and uh, their sight is essential to them allowing to be living an independent life. Having launched our new five-year strategy, and I've talked about that on these previous podcasts, we are now doing the more detailed work about how we're going to be delivering that, specifically around innovation and transformation, working with our clinical, managerial and support staff to ensure that we interpret our strategy most effectively for patient care. You will recall that the strategy focuses absolutely on care for older people and for cancer. And there's a short video that we've produced uh, that explains more about that strategy and I very much endorse that to you as an important and very short piece of information. Um, the strategy doesn't sit alone and is integral to the work we're doing with our partners in Stockport together. The Stockport Together programme is a partnership with the Stockport Clinical Commissioning Group, Stockport Metropolitan Borough Council, Pennine Care Foundation Trust and the primary care part of Stockport which has come together as a GP federation called Viaduct. Together we're actually working on various streams of work and one of those is specific to our National Vanguard project which is around providing integrated care, both health and social care, allowing people wherever possible to remain close to home in the community, if at all possible, being cared for in their own homes. It's a really exciting piece of work and is very much part of the five year forward view that Simon Stevens um, produced some time ago and is around that innovative way of working, seamlessly providing what is needed to our patients in Stockport. Working in partnership, which is one of the key strands within our strategy, isn't just confined to public sector. So for example, we've got a venture with host management who are now providing a revamped restaurant for our staff and visitors to use and uh, that's in the early days just now but we're hoping that over the next few weeks we begin to provide that range of really exciting dishes um, in a completely new environment. Indeed, hosts are investing a quarter of a million pounds of money into our new facilities which is starting with the restaurant and then we'll work into the retail facilities that we've got on site both in the maternity and children's unit and uh, in the main hospital entrance. So um, exciting times where we're going to be able to give a real high street offering to the people who are visiting our hospital. Very recently we had one of the most enjoyable events of the year and that was our Pride of Trust 
and that's about celebrating the amazing staff that we've got in this organisation and the things they've been doing. That included specific awards for those incredible pieces of work that they're doing, their care, perhaps their particular style or a project they've undertaken. But we also celebrated the fact that we have a significant number of staff who have worked 25 years in the NHS and even two who have worked 40 years. They both looked like they couldn't possibly have been working for 40 years unless, of course, they started um, straight after primary school. But it was lovely to be able to um, celebrate with them these, this real achievement. Dominic Hughes, who's the BBC Senior Health Correspondent, was our guest of honour and it was lovely to be able to spend the evening with Dominic and his wife. Um, and thank you so much to the sponsors. We had such an overwhelming support from our sponsors that the entire event, all of the prizes, the um, perhaps little crystals that we gave as prizes were uh, paid for completely by uh, private sponsorship. So thank you to every one of them and to the staff. And finally, I want to finish with some other awards because it's really important to be able to celebrate those with our staff and with yourselves. The maternity team have been shortlisted for a significant award around breastfeeding. The Stockport School Nurses have received an award and the comms team and the media um, coverage of the saline incident meant that our communications team won a national award which was of the very highest level. Um, they very much produce all of our communication including these monthly podcasts and I want to take this opportunity to thank them for their incredible work. And finally I just wanted to say at this festive time of year a huge thank you to everybody who has supported the Trust throughout the year to our governors, to our board of directors, our senior managers, our clinical staff, our support staff, the public and our patients and their families. Thank you so much and I hope that you have the very healthiest possible Christmas and New Year and very best wishes for next year.